This is where people mess it up. The chicken flavor. We get rid of it. Yo, yo! This is what happens when you don't pay attention to your food. What's up guys? I'm Peyton Moore Meyer and I'm here to show you guys how to make my favorite comfort food, which is some ramen noodles. And maybe spill a little tea in the making. So follow me. Let's do it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. Oh my goodness. I keep burning myself. Alright, it's gonna go straight into the water like that. The reason I chose to make ramen today is because it's just, it's that perfect snack, you know? You're up at 3 a.m., you're trying to like get some food, you know, it's quick, it's easy, it's, it's good. Let's get right into it. Oh my goodness, that would have been terrible. First step of the ramen cooking process, all right? You need a pot, okay? Medium size, small size, doesn't matter. All right, get some water, you know how it is. Okay, this is, this is important. This is super, super important. You have to get the level right. If you get too much water, it's gonna boil over. Yeah! Getting the water all warmed up. What is your favorite TikTok dance trend? I don't really have like a favorite dance trend. I'm not like a big dancing guy, but if I had to pick one, probably be Rockstar. That's the baby one. I kind of killed that one. I was doing pretty good on it. Forgot to mention, I'm over here open up, opening up the ramen. Um, and an important step is about to take place, so, so pay very close attention here. Alright, we're gonna take the ramen out. And this thing right here, this is where people mess it up. The chicken flavor. We get rid of it. Don't use it, okay? It's bad. What is your favorite TikTok you've ever done? I don't really have like a, like a favorite favorite, but I posted one when I was in my bathroom, smiling and everything, and it was, it was just a vibe, so I like, I like that one. Who is your dream music collab? Post Malone. I want a song with Post Malone. That's, that's, that's huge. That'd be huge for me. But like anything else, like instruments, John Mayer, for sure. Our water's about to start boiling. It's going crazy. So I'm gonna take this, this little lid right here. We're gonna put it on top of the water. Just let that heat kind of catch in there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people season the water before it boils. Don't do that, okay? Wait until it boils, cause, cause it's just all gonna go away if you put it in there before it boils. You know what I'm saying? First things first. We got salt, okay? It doesn't matter which salt. I've used like pink Himalayan salt. I've used regular salt. Doesn't matter, all right? Probably does, not to me though. Up next, this is this is key, okay? Italian herb seasoning. I don't know what all is in here, all right? But it tastes good, and it's always been the go-to for, for a lot of stuff, because there's just there's a bunch of crazy mixed up seasonings in here. So it's great. And the last one, we got just black pepper, just straight up black pepper. Super, super simple, you know, iconic seasoning in the kitchen. You'll find it everywhere. That's the ingredients and also love. You have to put love into your food or else it's not gonna taste good. Water's boiling. We're about to get into it. The ramen, all right? It's gonna go straight into the water like that, all right? And we're just gonna like, kind of get it down there. All right, cool. What song always cheers you up? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this Italian herb seasoning in here, by the way. I like Let Go My Hand by J. Cole right now. It's like a, it's like, it's like a rappy song. Okay, water's boiling over and we're getting salt in there. Great, a little more, okay. Finishing up the seasonings though. All right, the water's boiling now, so we gotta season this. Hit it with that black pepper in there. There we go. What's your favorite song of yours? Never mind's probably you know, one of my favorite songs just said, This is what it's like, hey, to be a passenger that can't get thrown to ride. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now that we got the water kind of like boiling, you know, it's all seasoned up, I'm gonna take this lid right here and put it on. All right, we're just gonna let it, let it do its thing. Have you ever written a love letter? This is a really great question. Whoa, yo, yo, yo. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to your food. It gets a little, it gets a little crazy. Yes, I have written a love letter. Not like a like letter letter, but like in my song love letter, I was like talking about like kind of like a new age love letter. You know what I'm saying? Like a text, kind of. Yes, a text. There's parts of that in the song. I just dropped hot water on my toe. There's a little bit of uh, information about that in the song love letter. So um, if you want to hear a little bit about that, you should go check that out. Wow, this is not going well for me. This water is just not is not doing its thing. This is a good question. It says, what's love? I don't even think I fully know that, to be honest. If you guys haven't noticed by my songs and their lyrical, lyrical content, 
I'm not the best at relationships. So I feel like it's a question I'm still figuring out. I feel like it's a question a lot of people are still figuring out. So Raman's getting pretty serious. We're, we're getting, I'm just gonna like get over here and show you guys kind of up close what we got going on here. We got some like noodles breaking apart. This is a good sign, all right? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've never like had someone teach me like the ways of cooking ramen. I've just kind of developed it over time, like trial and error. So I have no idea when these noodles are cooked. I have no idea if they're undercooked. I just kind of go off of off of like personal personal judgment, and they're they're looking pretty pretty snazzy right now. I'm not gonna cap. They're looking pretty pretty great. But I'm just gonna let these sit on the heat for a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? Just let them let them get going. What are you usually doing at 3 a.m.? That's a great question. I'm either listening to my song 3 a.m. or making ramen right now because I get pretty hungry at 3 a.m. It's like a thing, like a legit thing. Because I started snacking, like midnight snacks, and my body just got used to it, I guess. So I'm either snacking, watching YouTube, or listening to some music. That's my 3 a.m. routine, for sure. Pepper. It's going in the ramen. It's about to happen. It's going crazy. Here we go. Getting it pretty, pretty done right here. Just you know, letting that, letting that seasoning sit in there. You know, it's looking pretty good though. The water's a little murky. That means we got flavor. That is good. Are you a good driver? I like to consider myself a pretty solid driver. I'm not gonna cap. I've never gotten in an accident. I've gotten one speeding ticket, um, and that was just unfortunate. That was not. Everyone says it's not their fault, but it, it really, it wasn't. I promise. This ramen's looking pretty, like, pretty done. I'm gonna let it soak up all that, all that smell, all the aromatics. I'm just gonna let it, you know, soak up all that flavor so we got some good noodles, you know? What are you most excited about for tour? Traveling, again. Traveling and, like, meeting all my fans. It's been, like, such a long time since I've been able to, like, go out and, like, just, like, have a big group thing of fans and, like, you know, it's so much different when you feel the love in person, so. Very excited about that. The ramen's been sitting, all right? I think we're pretty solid on like cook time. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love ramen. It's great. It takes like this long to cook. It really is just very short, efficient, gets you full, you know? So this part is important. This is this is key to my my ramen ritual. But why, while I do this, I'm gonna answer a couple more questions. What's something you'll never regret? Getting myself to release original music. That's, that's definitely something I'll never regret, for sure. Um, that was a big thing of mine. It was a very like nerve-wracking thing for me, you know, putting your putting your work out into the world um, for everybody's open opinions. But I'm very glad I did it, because I'm here now, and writing more music, releasing more music. Ah, 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 ah. I keep burning myself, man, this is not good. Here we go, we got, we got the ramen with no water, okay? No water in the bowl, because here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna take a little more salt. We gotta be a lot care a lot more careful with it this time. You gotta get it in the hand, you know? So you can fully judge how much is going in there. I'm just gonna like hit a little sprinkle sesh right there. My fingers are a little wet, so the salt's sticking to it. And now, this is where the water comes in. Hydrate those noodles again, you know? But not all of it, you know. It's it's not no one likes just just water. It's not good. What's one thing you'll never do again? I don't know, go snorkeling? I did that once. Probably never gonna do it again. I'm terrified of the ocean. It's like my biggest fear. I'm not gonna cap to you. I hate like sharks and stuff. I can't, like, I can't see my feet, you know? And there's so much water there. You never know what's there. I just, I get anxious. I don't like it. One more step. This is like the final step. So, so pay very, very close attention here. The cleanup, all right? Take your seasonings. Put them back where you found them. Super, super, super important. Keep everything organized. Keep everything clean. You know, that's 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 how you keep the good mindset. How do you handle heartbreak? Now how I handle heartbreak would be probably writing music, you know, trying to get those those feelings out. I'm about to just cut these noodles up, you know what I'm saying? So so it's easier to eat because if you don't cut them up, you're just gonna be taking like the whole pack up with you. It's not good. I'd say now I just like I go to the, you know, the pen and paper, write some music, get the feelings like 
completely out of my body. Do you have any secret talents? Show us. Um, I just did. Cooking ramen. That is my secret talent because it's so unbelievable and I wish you guys could just taste this and smell this. It's amazing. It's so great. I mean, I haven't even tasted it yet. I know. It's insane. What show are you binging or the last show you binge watched? Ginny and Georgia on Netflix. Um, it's, it's an amazing show. I recommend it. It's great. I love shows like that. It's just, it's amazing. You know, I, got, I get hooked in them because I like, I feel like I'm related to the characters. You know, I have like empathy for them through the show. This is going to be really, really hot, but I'm, I'm going to bear with it. You guys can live this experience through, through my taste buds. You know what I'm saying? Ramen taste test. Here it is. You know what? It's pretty crazy. Not gonna cap. It's a little bland. Could have seasoned it a lot more, but it's not bad. We know for next time now. Thank you so much for watching me cook one of my favorite foods to cook because it's kind of the easiest to cook. You know, subscribe to 17 below if you aren't already to see more videos like this. Keep up with me everywhere, you know, Peyton on every streaming platform. Check out the new music when it drops. Much love. Now go out and make some ramen, how I make it, so you can see what I'm eating, you know? Alright, peace out.